Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I'm going to do my eyeshadow palette collection for you. This is gonna be a super long video because I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes. I don't, you don't realize how many eyeshadow palettes you have until you wanna do a collection video and you're like, oh my gosh, this might be a little embarrassing. So I'm going to first show you guys my subscription box palettes that I have received in the past three years, maybe almost four, and I'll give you a little bit of information about each one, and then I'll go, and then I'll show you the product, the eyeshadow palettes that I actually purchased for myself or that were gifted to me. But because this is gonna be such a super long video, we're gonna jump right into it. I'm not going in any specific order from when I got it from when I didn't, because I don't remember. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics Palette. I received this in a boxy charm, and it looks like this. I like this palette because of the packaging, and the shades are not bad. I don't use it very often. I like this shade the most in the palette, and then I like this shade the most, but other than that, I don't really grab for it very much, but I... <laughs> But I do like it for its packaging. I think it's absolutely adorable. It just looks like a storybook, and um, I really like it. I like the packaging. Okay, the next four, five, next five palettes are the Huda Beauty Obsession palettes. These small ones. I got these in Ipsy boxes. So I got the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette looks like this. I don't like this one at all. I don't grab for it. The first time I ever did and look with it, it just didn't turn out right, so I never grabbed for it again. The next one is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette, and it looks like this, and I don't grab for this one either. So we have this one. Then we have the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsession palette. I do grab for this one. I do like the colors. They're just really creamy and soft and sparkly. The next one is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. When I first got this, I use this every day. It was my all-time favorite palette. I just haven't grabbed for it as often as I normally grab for it, so I don't grab for it as often as I used to, but this was definitely one of my favorite palettes when I first got it, and I was obsessed with this shimmer right here. So we have this one. Actually, I only have four of these palettes. I thought I had more. Then I have the Makeup Geek Champagne and Rose. I got this in my Ipsy, and it looks like this. These are really good. The shadows are fantastic. They are just creamy and buttery and definitely worth the price. I really like Makeup Geek shadows. I think they're really great. So we have this one. Then this is the Pizza Slice Set by Foodie Cosmetics. I got this in a Bijou box, and it's just really cute. The packaging's absolutely adorable. And it looks like this. It does have a mirror, and it looks like this. I don't grab for this very often, but I do like the packaging. Then I got the Blushing Berries Dose of Colors, and this was in a boxy charm. And I was really excited to get this, but I don't grab for it. So I just have it in my collection. I'm sure these work great. I just don't grab for it very often, so I can't really give you a review on this one because it wouldn't be fair. And I have the BoxyCharm, what is this? It's a BoxyCharm palette. I got this, it's called Hello Charmer. I got this in my Boxy Lux. I haven't used it yet, and it looks like this. All I did was swatch it. I just don't use it. Oh, well, I haven't used it, so I don't know if it's good or not. I was really surprised that BoxyCharm even had makeup. Like, I didn't know they were making their own palettes. Okay, then I got this in BoxyCharm. It's the Picante Carity palette. I believe this is a drugstore palette, but it's really big and it looks like this. I haven't had a chance to like really check this out and use it. I used it once, but I can't, not, it's, I didn't use enough of the shades to actually give you guys a review, but I love the color scheme. I think that it's really pretty, so I wasn't mad at getting this. Next one is this. This is the Alternative Rock Balm Palette. You can get this at Walgreens, and it has a mirror right here, and it looks like this. I got this in my Ipsy. I really like that blush. The Alamar Cosmetics Palette, when I first got this, I used it every day. It was my favorite, favorite palette ever. This is so, so good, guys. This is a great palette. This is the Reina Del Carabe Volume 1 palette. This is a great palette. This is one of those palettes that I was so, so excited about. I love it. It's such a good one. I love this shade right here. And these shades are, these are just really creamy and delicious eyeshadows. Like these are really, really good. 
I received the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette from a BoxyCharm. I think this is one of my first Natasha Denona palettes. I got the Celestial Thunder Dominique Cosmetics Palette in BoxyCharm. Here is the City Limits Palette that I was just talking about. This is what's on my eyes today. I got this in a Lola Beauty Box, I think. I think it was Lola Beauty Box. This has been used and loved and is really, really dirty, but guys, I love this so much. I actually use, so today I have these two I have these two in my crease. I have this on my outer corner and then I buffed it out to bring a little dimension. And then I have this shade and this shade on my center lid. And then I have a little bit of this blue with these two shades on my lower lash line. This is such a good palette, completely worth the money and they're not that, they're not that expensive. Um, here's the Esmeralda 2 by Beauty Creations. I've never used this. I got this in a Lola beauty box or some sort of box. I forget which one it was. I got like two of them or three of them. So I remember giving them away in a giveaway. So there they are. I've only swatched them. I never grabbed for this ever, ever, ever. Then we have the ColourPop It's My Pleasure. And I got this in a Bijou Beauty, a Bijou beauty box. And it looks like this. And I've used it a few times, not like a whole bunch, but I have used it a few times. I love ColourPop. We got the, I got the Nomad Berlin Underground palette in my BoxyCharm. And these are mostly shimmers. I've never really, I just haven't gravitated to this one. And here we go. I received the Assemble by Jackie Love in, I, I don't remember, maybe Yes. No, what was it? Glow Addict maybe? So here's this one. I haven't really used that. I received the Purple Flame, the Purple Flame eyeshadow palette by Rude Cosmetics in a um, Try Beauty box. This is the Laga Desert Mirage palette. I got this in the Lola Beauty Box. They're really pretty. This was definitely something different than I normally was getting. I use the, these two shades a lot, and I did like that shade. But I haven't grabbed for this in a, quite a long time. Um, here's the packaging. The next is this. This is the Winky Lux Kitten Palette and Boxy Charm. And then here are the shades. I did use this quite a lot. I liked this palette. I got this one. I wasn't really into like doing like super like deep and dark eye, eye looks. You know what I mean? Like I really was only using one shadow at a time. So I didn't really like dig into this too much, but I did. I do remember liking it. Then we got the Studio Makeup on the Go eyeshadow palette. And this was one of my first eyeshadow palettes from BoxyCharm ever. It's like one of the reasons why I don't want to get rid of it because it was one of my first eyeshadow palettes that I've really used. Like I, I use this a lot. Like I remember grabbing for this all the time. I got this Style Velvet Touch palette and I don't remember which, maybe, this might've been a, a Joa box. I'm not sure, but here, or a glossy box. I don't remember, but I got this. I don't grab for that. Here are more of the IBY Beauty palettes. This is Desert Vibes. This was my first IBY palette ever that I ever, ever used. And I got this in a Lola Beauty box or a Yes Oh Yes box. And I loved this palette so much. I use this every single day. It was my favorite palette until I got the City Limits one. So we got this and it is used and loved and I love it so much. Oh my gosh, it was, I just love this palette so much. Then this is a Wander Beauty Wondrous Rush. I don't remember where I got this. I could have gotten this in an Ipsy, but I don't remember. And it looks like this. Definitely not one that I grabbed for. Then here's the, the next IBY palette, and this is the Poolside palette. I have used this a few times. I just haven't, I just haven't grabbed for it in a while. I was really into pinks for a while, so we have those. IBY has some really good shadows. Then we have a Crown Pro palette, and it looks like this. I got this in a boxy charm, I think. This is the Tarte High Performance Nat Neutrals Naturals palette, and I got this in a boxy charm. I use this every day for the longest time for just like a simple eye look 
This was like one of my favorite things to grab. I just really liked it. You could get your blush and then you could just do like a real simple eye look with it. I really liked this palette. I need to put this back in like my everyday makeup so I use it. Here is the Ruby May Mood Palette. I got this in a Tri Beauty box. And here are the shades. These are really, really nice. These are great shades, like really great, bright, vibrant shades. They blend very nicely. Here's a Wander, Wander Seascape, either BoxyCharm or Ipsy or I don't know, one of, one of them. This is very much like the other one, like, so here they are. I mean, they're not the same, same, but they're very close. I just don't really like Wander Beauty. I don't know why, I just don't. Um, we got the Cella, the Cella eyeshadow palette. We got this in, um, I think Ipsy. I don't like this at all, like at all. These are really chunky shimmers, like super chunk, like chunky chunk. Like look how chunk. Can I say chunk again? So we got that. Then here is the Smith & Colt eyeshadow palette that we got in an Ipsy. When I first grabbed this out of my Ipsy, I thought it was broken. I thought it was crushed. I didn't realize that this is the way their packaging is. And I was like, everyone was like, you're stupid. I can't believe this. And I'm like, if you didn't know that they made packaging with, that looked crushed, would you think it was crushed? You would. And there they are. I haven't used this, maybe, maybe twice. And I don't know what I would have used it for, but I definitely see that I used it. So I don't remember using it. This is the Purple Kush by Ruby May. I got this in a Tri Beauty box. And here are the shades. I mean, I didn't grab for it very much. I got this Lorella 25 eyeshadow palette. I got this from a, I forget what the, I forget what the box is called, but I got this one. Then I got the Balm Volume 2 in an Ipsy, and it looks like this. Then I got from my Live Glam, I don't know if you guys know about Live Glam, but Live Glam is an eyeshadow subscription. So you can get an eyeshadow palette every two months, like every other month. And then they also, they do Morphe Me as well. And then they do the Live Glam lipsticks. I think that's what it's called. But I was signed up for a little while. And this is one of the palettes. They're not bad eyeshadows. They're not bad eyeshadows at all. They're just not, I don't think they're well known enough for people to like really talk about them. Then this is the Ace Butte Grandios palette. And I use this a lot. I did like it. Actually, I didn't use it a lot. I used it enough to actually know if I liked it or not, and I definitely liked it. I don't think it was bad. This is a Ruby May Summer of Love eyeshadow palette. I don't remember where I got this one. And it looks like this. I have the ColourPop All I See Is Magic. I got this in a BoxyCharm. And I use this quite often. It's really pretty. I really like this one. I really like this palette a lot, actually. I've, I picked this up quite often to use it. Then I have the Pure Soiree Diaries from Box Charm. I use this every day. I remember putting it in my favorites like three times. Like this is one of my favorite palettes that I ever got from BoxyCharm. It is just a really neutral palette. But when I was first starting out, I loved eyeshadows this color like look I hit pan I hit pan like I really loved I love this palette so much you can tell which ones I really love too like this one this one this one this one that one I mean I really use this palette I'm proud of myself for that the next one is a Betty Boop palette that we got in Ipsy and I I didn't use this one at all but here are the shades I do like that shade I think it's pretty I might have used it. It looks like I have used it. So maybe I don't remember. This is the Chico Y Chico One Shot Eyeshadow Palette. I actually really like this. I got this in a Joa box and I really like this. The eyeshadows are actually really nice. They're very creamy, very nice. I think this is a drugstore product from um, from Japan, I think. I could be wrong. But this these these three shades are really good. I really, really liked them. I'm, I, I like this palette a lot. Then I have another Ruby May palette. This is Vibes. I got this in a Tri Beauty box right here. 
And then I got, here's another Live Glam palette. This is the Magical Dust. I've really liked this one. I think I remember talking about this in one of my videos. It looks like this, and it's just really, it's a really creamy palette. The This pink, it's, it's like a bright pink once you blend it out. It's like a, I don't know, like a fluorescent pink. It's actually really, really nice, and that's a really nice color as well. So I like this one. Then here's the Fenty Beauty palette that I got for my BoxyCharm last month. I haven't really used it yet, so I can't really say much. But I like that we got Fenty. Then here is the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series eyeshadow palette. We got this in an Ipsy, I believe. Ipsy or BoxyCharm. And here they are. I think subscription boxes are a great way to build your makeup collection. Like they send you so many palettes along with other makeup that it's such a good way to build your collection. Like if you don't have the money to continuously go out and purchase makeup, get a few subscription boxes like BoxyCharm or Ipsy or Allure or Macy's Beauty Box and they'll, and or Sephora Play, actually don't do Sephora Play. They send you the tiniest little things. But um, definitely, Get subscription boxes so you can build your collection and get Fenty or get Violet Voss or Ace Butte or, you know, a whole bunch of different, com a different, you get a whole bunch of different beauty products from high end companies and it's a really great way, like I said, to build your collection. Okay, and the last two that I have here, this is the BoxyCharm Pure Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like this. I use this a lot. When I first started getting BoxyCharm, I was using their palettes all the time. Every month, I was getting a new palette, and I was so excited about it. I used these all the time. Like, I really did. And then here's the Pure Festivals palette. And these have 12 eyeshadows in there. And I didn't really grab for this one. I remember when it came out. It came out, like, right around when Co Coachella was around the corner. And um, I just didn't use it that often. But um, it's pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to do the eyeshadow palettes that I've either purchased for myself, that I've gotten for PR, or someone has sent them to me. So I'm going to show you my personal collection that's not a subscription box. <laughs> okay, so the first one is the Aurora palette by Alter Ego. This was sent to me in PR. They send me most of their newest eyeshadow palettes, and here's this one. This one's pretty good. I like this one a lot. I've, I've grabbed for it often. I like it. I really like this yellow right here for like an inner corner. And this one blends out. These two blend out really nice. So here's one of these. If you don't know Alter Ego, they do a lot of dupe palettes for other higher end palettes. And then we have the Sahara Alter Ego palette. And it looks like this. Here is the Smashbox Shape Matters palette. And it looks like this we have this is like a whole face palette and eyeshadow so these are for your face these are for your brows and these are for your eye like for your eyeshadow I used to grab for this but not very much anymore we have the flutter by Colourpop palette I like this palette but I like their some of their other palettes better we have the you oh wait oh no no okay we are this is the you are QT palette I got this in a mystery box and it looks like this I didn't realize how many purple palettes I had until I went through my palettes we have the so jaded Kathleen lights and ColourPop palette love this palette this is really good this is their first time they ever did a palette this big and I remember when Kathleen lights showed all the colors and I was like I need it. I want it and so I got it. So this palette, this is really good. And then we have the Morphe 39A palette. Guys, this is my favorite palette I've ever purchased in my entire life. Like this is, if I'm going to just do an everyday look, I grab for this palette. If I wanna do a dark, dramatic eye look, I grab for this palette. Like I love this palette so much. It's one of my favorite palettes ever. And it's definitely worth the price. I just, I love this palette. I love it so much. It is very loved and very well worn, just such a great palette. I love this whole thing right here, and I use this for my brows, these two for my brows, and I use these right here all the time. Such a good palette. I mean, 39A, Morphe, if you don't have it, get it, you'll love it. 
I also have the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bloodlust Palette. Such beautiful packaging. Love this so much. And that's what it looks like. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Have the Proof is in the Puddin' Eyeshadow Palette by Beauty Bakery. I actually think I got this in a FabFitFun. I don't know why I don't have it in my subscription box pile. But there's bound to be mistakes because I have so much, it's ridiculous. Here is the the Deuce, the Dose, the Deuce by Juvia's Place. And it looks like this. I really like I really like Juvia's Place palettes. Um so here is Berry Cute by Colored Rain. Cute. We have California Love by ColourPop. The Yes Please palette from ColourPop. I loved this palette so much. I use this every single day. So much so that when somehow I lost it, I don't know how I lost it, but I lost it, that I got another one. And I just love this palette. Like this was my go-to palette for like six months. Six months. But then I got a new one, so it doesn't look so loved. But I loved this palette. So cute. So much fun. Then we have the Sweet Talk palette. This was also another favorite of mine. I remember when I first started using this and all of you guys were like, what's on your eyes? What's on your eyes? And it was this palette. And this is such a great palette. Like this is one of my favorites from ColourPop for sure. And there it is. You can see how loved it is. I didn't clean any of my palettes, guys, because I don't have time to clean my palettes and they're dirty anyway. Um, this is the Ace Butte Scarlet Dust palette. I think I got this in a subscription box as well, but I mean, there it is. And then here is my, this is my Z palette. I have lots of ColourPop eyeshadows in here. I have single eyeshadows that I got in subscription boxes. So this is just a Z palette that I created for myself. I actually use this a lot, a lot, a lot. It's just one that I like to grab for because I know, I know that I like these shades. I know how they work. I just really like this. This shade right here is Glass Bowl by ColourPop. And guys, this is one of my favorite shades. I'm only gonna swatch one shade because if I swatch every shade, you guys are gonna be like, this This is the longest video ever. But that's Glass Bowl and I love it so much. It looks good in a purple eyeshadow look, looks good with a red eyeshadow look. It just looks good. Okay, the next thing is the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is volume one and it looks like this. And I really, really like this palette as well. It's just a really great palette. This is this is a palette that I did my first eye blue eyeshadow look with. Okay, so we got her and she's good and I like her. Here is the BH Cosmetics Neutrals 26 color eyeshadow palette plus blush. I remember buying this last summer and I really didn't grab for it very often, but I do like this shade. <laughs> this lonely light shade. Okay. Here is the Modern Renaissance palette. I feel like this is a staple in most people's eyeshadow palette collections. This actually was gifted to me by Just Anne when she first started her channel. And I use this all the time. Like I used it, I mean, I hit pan. I use this so much. I think this was my first high-end eyeshadow palette ever. So I, it, she would, she sent me that and I'm just so grateful. It was like my first like real gift and it was just so sweet. Okay, then we have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and it looks like this. I actually really like this palette, but I forget about it. It's just one of those palettes that I just forget about. I really like that shade right there. Um, I think I got this at TJ Maxx, if I'm correct. Here is the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. And it looks like this. Love this palette too. Love this palette. Really, really like that palette. Here's the Burn Book. And this is by Storybook Cosmetics. And um, She Crafty sent me this on Valentine's Day. It was our val She sent me a Valentine's Day box because we were each other's the Valentine's Days. We were each other's Valentine's. And she sent me this palette with a few other palettes. And I love this so much. I don't want to use it. I love it so much I don't want to use it because I love the, the movie Mean Girls. So this is like a totally different kind of palette for me. I like just want it in my collection because I want to say that I have it. But here are the shades. I mean, I do like this shade. 
but I don't use it often. I don't want to touch it. It means too much to me. So we have this. Here is the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Love this palette. When I first got this palette, it was all I used for like months. Definitely one of my favorite palettes ever. Love it so much. Such a good palette. He has really great formula. Like his, his eyeshadow palette is the bomb. Okay, the next two are Jaclyn Hill's newest palette. And this is volume two. And I've only used it a few times, but it is very, very pretty. The formula is different than the first one, but I don't know why, so I don't say anything about it, but I got this one. When it came out, I purchased it. The next one is the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette by Morphe and Jeffree Star. <laughs> and here it is. Hold on. Right here. I love this. I think it's so fun. I cannot wait to dabble in it more because I just got it. So much fun. I have three of the Jacob and Eli palettes. I got these off Amazon. These are actually really good and pretty cheap. This one is Hidden Gems. Use this quite a lot. I got these, I mean, I got them off Amazon. One of my subscribers told me about them. I bought them and they're actually really good. This one is um, the Bear palette. And then we have the Candy Peaches. And this one's really good too. I really like this one. I grabbed for this one the most and then I grabbed for Hidden Gems the most. Okay, then this is the BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. And that's right here. And then we have the Cargo Cosmetics palette. I got this at TJ Maxx and I haven't really used it. I mean, I've used it enough that there's like a big dent, but um, I didn't, like I've used it for the light shades for like a base. I love the packaging though. Packaging's beautiful. Here is the ColourPop Whatever palette. And it looks like this. I do like this palette a lot. I, I grab for this quite often. I just got it a few weeks ago, but I do grab for it often. Here is the O2O 2 Darling eyeshadow palette. I actually did a full face of using AliExpress makeup, and this is a palette they sent me. And here are the shades. This blended really well. It looked really great when I first made the look, and then the color disappeared throughout the day. Here is the downtown, the downtown Iconic Beauty Los Angeles palette. I think I got this in a subscription box or I don't remember where I got it, to be honest. I don't know where I got this, but it's, it's a good palette. I actually really like this palette. I have the Too Faced Natural Less palette. This is my go-to palette. I grab for it whenever I need a real quick look. It's just, I love this palette. It's such a good palette. If you're looking for like a good everyday palette, this is a great palette. I got this at TJ Maxx and I was so excited when I found it. Me and Just Ann were like dancing when we found it. Here is the Alien palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have not used this palette yet. It is now like a collector's item because they aren't gonna make it anymore. So I'm like, don't wanna, don't wanna touch it. It's like a baby. So I haven't, I haven't touched her yet, but here she is. It's like a collector's item. I have the Tarte palette. This is a face palette and an eyeshadow palette. And this was like the 2018, I think, or 2019 Christmas edition. And I used the crap out of this palette for the longest time. Like I really did. I used all of the shades. I just, I really liked this. I thought it was really good. I don't really, I never really used the bronzer or the highlighter or the blushes. I just never really grabbed them. But it did come with a mascara and an eyeliner. So, got this. Here are the, here are some Juvia's Place palettes. This is the Nubian Three Coral. This I got from, I think I just purchased these a while back from um, Juvia's Place thing. Maybe, I don't remember one, but here they are. I love Juvia's Place, like I said. Here is one of their newer palettes. This, um, she Crafty sent this to me for Valentine's Day. This is the Violets, and so pretty. So, so pretty, I'm so excited. These were actually in the Trend Mood box, but we didn't get the Trend Mood box. We got the She Crafty box. Here's a Makeup Geek palette, and here we go. I don't remember where that came from. Here's the Chocolate Bar Palette by Too Faced. And I've had this for so long, guys. I've had this for so long that I don't grab for it, but I don't throw it out either because, I mean, it's like a collector's item in my mind. 
here is a Morphe palette, and this is the Artistry palette, 18B. I just, I just purchased this palette. So we got this. I actually, like, when I was opening it, I was like, what palette is this? Because I completely forgot I purchased it. Here is the Alter Ego Daydream palette. This one's really great. I loved this. I use this every day for the longest time. This is one of my favorite palettes I put out. So, so good. So good. You guys should check out Alter Ego. Here is a ColourPop palette. This is a Fortune palette. I love this palette. Love it so much. It is so dirty. Look how dirty this is. I mean, it's a disgrace. Um, disgraceful. This is the Double and Tendre palette by ColourPop, and I do like this one a lot. This is a great palette for every day. I know I keep saying that about a lot of palettes, but it's true. Here is the Naked 2 Urban Decay palette, and I never grab for this anymore, but I did grab for it, but here it is. Here is the Subculture by Anastasia. I got this at TJ Maxx, and I've only used it a few times, but I do like it. I do like the subculture palette. A lot of people didn't, but I do. Here is the Ciate London Pretty Fun and Fearless palette. I believe my friend Debbie sent this to me. Love her. Love you, Debbie. Here is the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette. Oh, I just hit myself in the face with it. And it looks like a this. I love this palette and I gave it a lot of love. Here is the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. This was my first palette that I was so excited when it launched. Like I couldn't wait to buy it when it launched. Like I was waiting for it to launch and then I purchased it launch day. That was my first palette I ever did this that too. And I loved it. I wore this all the time. I should start wearing this again because I really liked this palette. I really liked this palette. Like I wore it down pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Uh. Becca Pearl Glow Shimmering Palette. I bought this at TJ Maxx. I don't know if I've used it, but here it is. It was just so pretty that I didn't want to like not use it because it was so pretty. Like, look, I need to put this in my like everyday drawer so I actually grab it. Here is the Lorac Pro Palette. I used to love Lorac. I still like them. I need to grab for this palette more because I use this all the time. Like this is a really good palette. I don't hear a lot about Lorac anymore or ever. It's a really good palette. Here's the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. I got this at the drugstore and um, here it is. This wasn't a bad palette. I just don't grab for it. Here is Strawberry Shake by ColourPop. And here is Life is a Drag by Manny. There it is. Here is the Athena palette by Bad Habit. This is an okay palette. It's not bad. I use it enough to know. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite. And then this is the Palm Springs Dreams Too Faced palette. I do like this palette. I do like this a lot. Like I love these shades right here. Like, I grab for them. They're good. I like them. I like Too Faced. Here is the Buff Collection by Pure. Oh, I think I got this in a BoxyCharm, like, their first year. This should be in my BoxyCharm thing. I used the crap out of this palette. I loved it so much. Used it every day. Here is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. I think this is a TJ Maxxer. The Ooh La La ColourPop Palette. I don't like this one at all. I think I got a bad batch because this one just, this one was awful, terrible, awful. I could not make it work. Here is the Pat McGrath's Mothership Subliminal Palette, bronze palette. I haven't used this yet. I'm like afraid to use it because it's one of those like super expensive palettes and I'm afraid that I'm gonna use it and hate it and then be disappointed. So I haven't used this one yet. Here is the White Peach Too Faced palette. I have used this, and I don't think it's bad. I don't like this color at all. I think it stinks, but it's not a bad palette. I definitely grabbed for this for a while. Here is the Beauty Rust 
colored rain palette. Here is the Alter Ego Goddess palette. This one's really good too. I really like that one. This was the first one they ever sent me and I really like this palette. This is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. I use this every day, all day long. It was like my favorite palette when I first started my channel. And the highlights, I love the high, these highlights. I hope they're still good. I haven't used them in a very long time. There they are. These highlights were like, I have swatches everywhere here. Like those are the highlights. They are just, they still got some game. I mean, they're old, but they got some game. Um, here is the Morphe 25D palette. I don't even know what this looks like. Oh, looks like this. And here is the Morphe 35F palette. Okay, we have the Baby Got Peach palette, and this is by ColourPop. I love this palette so much. I love the colors. I cannot wait to use this in the summer. I've got some eye looks that I want to do with this in the summer. I have them all planned out in my head. Will I do them? I don't know. Here's the NYX Lid Lingerie palette. I have the Ciate London Astrolites Jeweled palette. This is from my friend Debbie. And I used this a few times. It definitely had some blending issues and like, like the colors didn't stay very long on your lids, but it is a really pretty palette. So I was happy to have it. Here is the Villains Misunderstood palette. I don't know why I bought this palette. I, I bought it. I've never used it. I, I have no idea. I don't know. I, I, these are, this is one of those purchases that I was like, why did I do that? Because I just never grabbed for it. And I don't know why it's not, it's not that it's, it's not bad. I just never grabbed for it. Probably. I just probably bought it because I really like ColourPop. So that's probably why. Then here's the matte bar by Maybelline. I liked this palette. Like I, I do like this palette a lot. It's just awkward to use because of the way that the shadows are placed, but I do like this palette a lot. Then we have the lemonade craze by Maybelline and I really loved this palette. I remember when this came out, I was super excited. I watched Tati use it and I was like, I need one. So I got this one and then I got the soda pop one. And then this is the L'Oreal Paradise, Paradise Enchanted palette. I really like this palette. Really, really liked this palette. I use this one all the time. Like I just really like this one and it smells, it smells really good too. It smells like peaches. I mean, I love peaches. Then here we have the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Palette. And I do like this palette a lot. As you can see, I kind of, like I just got this, so it doesn't look like I've used it very much, but I have, I really like it. I super like this one, guys. I really like that. Then we have the, Ner the Nurbid, the, what's a Nurbid? I have no idea. The Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Doo, doo, doo. Here is a Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette of Pops. And this was from my friend Debbie. The shimmers are absolutely stunning. Like those are really good on a lot of eye looks. I like those shimmers. Here is the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess Palette. I've used this a few times. I do like it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I like it a lot. I think Lunar Beauty has some good eyeshadows. Here is the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows, and this is the Four Rose. How do you open it? Okay. I've only used this a few times, but I just got this one. Only use it a few times. I thought it smelled good for a second, but it doesn't. This is the Berries by Juvia's Place. This is from She Crafty. I love her. Isn't that pretty? I was so excited to, to get this one. It's just, I love Juvia's Place and I think they do such a good job with on eyeshadow, so I was super excited. Here's the Nudes by Juvia's Place. Isn't that a stunning palette? Like that's a perfect palette for an everyday look, for sure. Like you don't need anything else. You just need that. Here's Dream Street by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. I loved this palette. I used it every day. I don't know why I stopped. Probably because I have so many palettes that 
I have so... I'm ridiculous. I'm looking at my Tower of Palettes and I'm embarrassed for myself. We have the Lorac Los Angeles palette. I loved this palette when I first got it. This was like one of my favorite palettes. And I think it was because I loved the packaging so much. Like, the packaging is just so cute. I love this palette. I really like Lorac. Here's the Pixie by Petra palette. And this is the Natural Beauty palette. I was sent this in PR. I still can't believe Pixie by Petra sends me PR. It's crazy. Here's the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Alyssa Edwards palette. Really pretty and bright. I like Alyssa Edwards a lot. Here's the Tarte Tardius Pro Remix palette. I don't know where this came from. It could be from a subscription box. I, I don't know. I think this is new. So pretty. Here is the Tati Beauty palette. I have a mixed feeling about this palette because if you notice in this palette, only that shade is panned. I used all of these shades and every single time I use this palette, I use the shades like that cream shade was only used for my base shade, like for just my base. But when I first started using it, it crumbled and it started falling out. And by the third time I used it, you could see the pan. And I was like, did I just like, maybe I just got a bad palette, you know, because um, none of them, none of the other shades did that. And I used the crap out of this palette. I was just so disappointed that that shade crumbled on me. It like fell out of the pan. Like this is from three uses. So I stopped using it and just grabbed another shade from another palette. But I mean, it is just, it was just disappointing. But these are really pretty. I do really like this palette. I was just so disappointed with that. So here's a Tati palette. Here is the ColourPop Bye Bye Birdie palette. This is my newest favorite palette from ColourPop. I use this a lot for my purple eyeshadow looks and I love this shade. Like I love it so much. It's so pretty. So pretty. Here is the Fenty Beauty, um, what is this? Kilowatt Foil Palette. I have the Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. I have five of the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. I don't know how many they are, but I'm pretty sure I have all of them. I have six. I have the Goddess Glow by Estee Lauder. I have the Morphe 15N. I don't really grab for this ever. It's a really heavy palette. This one's heavy. I have the Tarte Pro To Go palette. I used to love this palette. I used to use this every day. I think this was in a favorites video. Like, I think I, I use this all the time. I have the Viseart Trist palette. Oh no, what fell? Oh, a shadow fell out. <gasps> oh my goodness, Viseart is expensive. That should not happen. But here we go. That's ridiculous. Okay, we have the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. I might have gotten this in a subscription box, but I don't know. I have the Caramel Zoeva Caramel Melange Palette. I don't know how to say that, but here we go. I got this in a boxy pop-up. I have two of the Trading Mecca eyeshadow palettes. These are really, really good. I don't talk about them often because I got these a while ago, but this is from an indie brand called Trading Mecca. These are super, super good. I used these a lot when I first got them. Here's this palette. And then... This one's the Malibu. This purple is to die for, guys. Like, it is beautiful. I only have six more and then we're done. Oh, I have the Too Faced 
Sparkling Pineapple Eye Palette. I love this palette, guys. Love it so much. I'm so glad that I, I think I got these at TJ Maxx, and I'm so happy that I got them. I don't remember anybody talking about them, but their Razzle Dazzle and Pineapple Dazzle are so good. So good. I have the Soft Glam Palette, and my friend Debbie sent this to me, and I do like this palette a lot. You can tell I've used it quite often. I can't help it. It's so pretty. Such a good palette. Such a great palette for like every day. Everything's great for every day. I can't stop saying every day. I don't know why. Oh no. I should have palette tower down. This is the Illamasqua palette. This was sent to me by She Crafty. And she got, I think she got an extra in one of her boxes. So she sent it to me. Isn't that pretty? I do like this palette. I love this shade for just a base. And these are, they're creamy and delicious and they, they're great. These are really good. This is a really good palette. Really good. Okay, I bought this at Kohl's. Never used it, but I did buy it. And it's called the Sugar Trip Squad. And this is why I've never used it. <laughs> I don't know why I got it. I have no idea. But um, it's a fun palette, and I like having it in my collection. It's by NYX. Here's the Mini Jawbreaker. Bless you, Oko. Mini Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star. And it looks like this. And the last but not least is my Blue Blood. This was sent to me from, from Debbie as well. And now I have all of the blood, blood, all of the blood line collection. I have all of the blood collection. That sounds terrible. But this one's really pretty. I haven't really dabbled into it yet because I just haven't. But look, isn't she gorgeous? This was one of those palettes that I didn't want to purchase because I didn't think I'd grab for. But she got an extra one in one of her boxes. One of her surprise, one of the mystery boxes. All right, guys, my camera died on me on my last palette, which, how crazy is that? My last palette, it died. So my last palette is the Blue Blood palette. Like I said before when I was showing it to you guys, I love it. It's beautiful, and I'm so thankful that I have it. And that is it for my eyeshadow palette collection. I know this was super long, and I know I have a lot of palettes. I think I have, like, over 150 palettes. It's embarrassing, but I do love makeup, and I love eyeshadow the most. Maybe as much as lipstick, but maybe not. If you think my eyeshadow palettes are a lot, wait until you see my lipstick. <laughs> I have so much lipstick, it's ridiculous, and I only wear, like, three shades. I don't know what my problem is. Or all the shades look the same. I don't know which one it is. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what your favorite eyeshadow palettes are. Let me know which one is your favorite in my collection. And I hope everyone's having a really great day. I love you guys so, so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.